you can see and feel the changes over the years. Last year, we had 158 days where temperatures were more than 90 degrees. That's 27 degrees above the annual average. So far this year, we've hit 57 days and it's only the beginning of July. The city's all-time high record is 117. This heat event in particular and why it's more attention grabbing is because the probability of reaching that is not a low chance. So we're close. There isn't a simple direct cause for the increase in temperatures. There are many atmospheric and climate variables to consider. However, a top source is the urban heat island effect. Development has increased rapidly over the past few decades and is on track to grow. Other cities like Seattle, Denver, Washington, D.C., and Columbus are sometimes called urban deserts. Well, here we take that in a literal sense. In short, when you remove vegetation and replace it with concrete and asphalt, it causes these areas to absorb more heat instead of reflecting it. This makes urban areas much warmer than surrounding more rural places. Removing vegetation lowers the amount of shading and water evaporation from soil and leaves. These heat effects can be seen drastically in the rise of warmer temperatures at night in Las Vegas. What the temperatures are normally for Las Vegas, those have risen considerably um, over the last 30 years. The combination of this heat island effect, weather patterns, and the global mean temperature rising all contribute to longer and more intense heat here. This heat in turn has negative impacts like drought and poor air quality, which are major issues in Southern Nevada. Climate is knowing it's gonna be hot in summer. So uh, the day-to-day -day weather and how that weather pattern evolves and how hot it gets is when you're talking about weather patterns. So. Um, they do go hand in hand and the strength of these heat events potentially happening more frequently is definitely a possibility because of the fact that our global temperature is warming. Moms Clean Air Force is a national organization with more than 8,000 members in Nevada. Their mission is to fight for cleaner air and combat changes in the climate. These moms want to make the community more aware of the dangerous impacts this heat wave can have on families, especially children. I'm a mom of a four-year-old and uh, I grew up in Las Vegas and his childhood is completely different than mine. While it was hot when Moore was younger, she says she didn't have to worry so much about breathing issues, but her son experiences breathing issues and has problems with the extreme heat.